Moving on, I'm joined by Magindi Viradom paramedic Daniel Amzalag, who was active at the scene of the terror attack in Bnei Brak overnight. Daniel, thank you very much for being with us. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what you saw when you arrived at the scene last night? So I will start by saying that yesterday at 8 p.m., exactly 8 p.m., Magen David Adam dispatch received uh, many calls uh, about a shooting in the city of Nebrak. Uh, by coincidence, I was on a mobile intensive care unit just a couple of streets away, so we were there within a few seconds. Um, it was a very complex scene. We found uh, people wounded in uh, different scenes, uh, spread over a few hundred meters. Um, they had uh, very critical injuries, and we treated five people on that uh, scene. Uh, at the end, we had, unfortunately, uh, to declare the death of uh, four of them. The fifth person uh, was taken by my ambulance, and we evacuated him uh, while performing advanced CPR um, to the hospital in Pedach Tikva, Bellinson Hospital where the doctors over there took over and uh, continued CPR and uh, fought for his life for, on his life for a very long time until, unfortunately, he succumbed to his injuries and uh, passed away. So wh when did you see the fifth victim, who we know now is the police officer? And, and can you, you know, what, what exactly did you do? What state was he in when you reached him? When we arrived to him, he was treated by a regular ambulance that arrived a few seconds ahead of us. He was uh, with a critical injury uh, to his body, and um, he was unconscious. Uh, so we, we immediately transported him into our ambulance, which is the mobile intensive care unit, and uh, continue uh, advanced life support efforts. And as I said, we uh, performed CPR and evacuated him while we are performing CPR. So how soon did you realize that this was a terrorist attack? What was happening around you at the time? Um, we, uh, we understood by the uh, calls that we received and by the nature of the event that we are probably handling a terror attack even before we arrived. Uh, I believe the police confirmed it a very short while after. All right, now, I understand that your friend and fellow Magen David Adom paramedic Menachem Englander actually survived the attack miraculously when the terrorist's gun jammed. What does that say, you know, what does that make you think or feel knowing how close you and your team are to such dangers? It's never an easy uh, feeling, and when we are there, we always try to look over our shoulder, try to do our best treating people that need our uh, care, knowing that there might be someone there uh, trying to uh, um, harm us as well. Uh, when we were on the way to the scene, we even heard the shooting, so we knew that we are heading towards a live uh, shooting uh, incident. Um, so yeah, those events and the nature of those events is always a uh, very mixed feelings for us. And as someone who my, myself was even hurt uh, in the early 2000s in a terror attack, uh, it always bring back uh, those images from uh, those types of events. So how do you mitigate some of those circumstances? How do you keep yourself safe when you're entering an active shooting scene? So we protect ourselves on the way. We already have a bulletproof uh, vest and helmets and everything that we can uh, to help ourselves. We try to minimize uh, the time that we have on scene, try uh, to triage and uh, decide who's the most uh, critical patient and transported him uh, to the hospital with, as I said, try to stay on scene as less as possible. Of course, we have um, our fellow officers and the uh, IDF who are uh, helping us uh, in every way that they can to uh, make the scene safer. Um, and as I said, by the time we arrived, the shooting was already done and I believe that the uh, terrorist was uh, neutralized by the police officers. All right, Daniel Amzalag, thank you so much for, for joining us today and for your help. Stay safe. My pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day. To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.